morning everyone. Today we are going to learn something really new and it's something I have been doing now for about 15 years. In fact, I would like to claim the one who learned how to do this first, but I have no idea. But this is something I came up with many, many years ago. And what we are doing is we're taking grocery store herbs and we're going to root them so we can have our own plants for the year. This works amazing. I enjoy making this every year. Rosemary does not overwinter. So we have thyme, we have rosemary, we have mint. All of these little all these little sprigs are actually going to turn into plants. They will root, they will grow, and then you can plant them out and you can have them out on a pot on your deck or you can have them in your garden. So, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. I am going to be using something different. I'm using some root hormone. Other years I've never used it and it works great, but this year I'm going to try the root hormone because this way it's going to be total success. When I did it in previous times, I may have one or two that wouldn't work, but the rest would. But I'm going to try the root hormone. I will give you a link in my description box. This was only $5.50 and that included shipping. So we're going to try and I'm going to, show so I'm going to show you how you can root grocery store herbs into your own plants. This works for only the soft branches, so this is called soft wood. It would not work for chives or things like that. If you have a woody stem, this works perfect. So, let me show you how fun and exciting this little project can be. What you're going to need is, you're going to need a bowl, and this is only so when we cut some of this off that we don't waste anything. You're going to need something with dirt in it preferably a small plastic container. You're going to need baggies and you're going to need your herbs. Now mine were only 99 cents so that's really cheap. I know some people in different areas it's going to cost them more than that. But wait till you see how many plants we're going to get out of this. So this is thyme and thyme is something that is a perennial. In other words it'll grow up back each and every year. So what I'm going to do is we're going to actually put two plants in one of these pots. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shred off all the leaves at the bottom half of it. So it's going to look just like this. So I took the leaves off. We're going to make a brand new cut on an angle. And we're going to dip it into water and then dip it into our, our hormone powder. And then we're going to put it right into our pot. take another one. Find one that's, that looks the healthiest. So let me see what we can do here. I'm not going to use all of these. I'm just going to find one that looks the best. And this one's another. Well, that one's not very good. Let me see if I can find. Alright, here's another good one. Go like this. Always cut off a little piece. So you have a fresh cut, always dip it into water, and always put it into the root hormone. You don't have to have the root hormone, it just, the root hormone does help it, 
make give it more successful rate but I've never used a root hormone before this is what they do in a lot of greenhouses I'm just using store-bought herbs. All right. Now let's go ahead and use the rosemary because that's really what I'm interested in. The rosemary is very expensive when you have to, when you buy the herb. So this is perfect. So this has given me four. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do two at a time. So we're going to go ahead and strip off the leaves. Oh, rosemary smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do two of them at one time. And the rosemary is what I do every year. But I wanted to show you that you can do it with other herbs as well. We're going to dip it into our hormone. And we're going to put it just like that. Rosemary is the easiest one to root, so if you want to root something, I would go with the rosemary. And rosemary is also an expensive herb to buy, at least in our area it is. Go ahead, I'm going to snip it off. I think I snipped it off the other ones. If I didn't, it still will root. It's really not that important. Now this one I forgot to dip in water. That's alright, we're going to be watering it. And I'm going to show you the critical part at the end of this, what is going to make this grow. So here we have some t mint. Mint also really works well. Mint is very easy to root. Just going to go ahead, take the leaves off. This one here has a really big stem. Mint is probably even easier than rosemary yet. Okay, that one didn't do so well. Let's try this one. This? You can even root mint in water. Alrighty, do some more of my rosemary. Because this is what's so important to me. So this rosemary is somewhat bent, so we're just going to cut off some of it. I'm going to finish up these herbs and then I'll show you the last step, which is the most important step.
All right, so now here we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pack the, the ground. So we're going to pack the dirt really close to it. Pack it down real good. You don't want no air. So use your fingers or however you choose, but you pack it down. The key is you have to have this in a Sunday. The key is you have to have this in a sunny windowsill. You have to have sun. It's not going to root, it's not going to grow if you don't have sun. It has direct sunlight. It has to have that. That's why a lot of times it doesn't work for people because they put it somewhere where it gets shade. It has to be in a south facing window sill because we are going to generate a lot of heat also needs a lot of heat in order to root one thing I am very good at is growing plants I do have a real a real green thumb I always have so some people it doesn't seem like it works and then other people like me, this is so simple and easy. It's one of those things you're going to have to give it a try for yourself to see if you can get it to work for you. But soft woods like this, these kind of plants work great. Oh, and it smells so lovely. Alright, so now the important part of it. You're going to take a watering can or something like this. Now I bought these. These came from China. They were only 30 cents a piece. I love them. I don't know if you can still get them, but it, they're so neat. So we use this to water our plants. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to water it pretty good because we're probably not going to water it until we get to plant it outside, until it's rooted. And I'll show you why in a moment. And water it real good. Now for the most important thing, if you want to have a successful of the rerouting, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a bag. You have to cover it with a bag. We're creating our own little greenhouse effect. So you have to have a bag covering it. I'm going to be showing you week from week how these grow. Let 
we're going to leave the bag on until it's well rooted and we'll know it's rooted when you start seeing new green that starts to grow don't be concerned if your plants the first two days are wilted they will wilt that's okay they're not dying they will wilt but then in a couple days to a week you're going to see some something different happen it's going to be exciting for you because it's going to be growing if you're planning on doing this every year like I do I would strongly suggest you buy the root hormone it will last you many years and it's really really cheap Preferably if you have a smaller bag, All right. that would work the so best. Put them at the window These still. the smallest bags that I had. My Dollar Tree ones are growing. My Dollar Tree ones are growing really nice. There's my Dollar Tree ones. You go ahead while I'm here and water some of them. They really don't need it much, but we're going to go ahead and water it. There we go. As they grow, we're going to rotate them so that they keep growing straight. That's what it looks like. Now we don't need to do anything at least for a week. And then we'll have to check to see if we need to water them or not. But that's why you put the plastic bag over them because it makes condensation, which helps give them a lot of nutrients and also helps give them a lot of moisture. So now, what do we do? So now we're going to take a container and take all of these leftover pieces of all these herbs. We're going to make ourselves a cleaner. This cleaner can be for your kitchen or anywhere you wish. So we're going to take all of these and we're going to put them into our glass jar. So nothing gets wasted. We're going to take our, this is 99% alcohol, which if you go to the Dollar Tree, it's going to be 50%, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to go ahead and pour it in here. And we're going to let it steep for about eight weeks. And now we have a cleaner that you can add to anything. You can add some water to it if you wish, but I use it straight and I will use it for all of my cleaning needs for my bathroom to my kitchen. We want to make sure we have enough that it covers all of your herbs to keep them preserved. So you always want to make sure you have enough. Put that some of our essential oil in it. There's no air in, so we want to cover all of our herbs. And there we go. Now we have a cleaner. So there we go. Now we have a cleaner with all of the extras that we cut off with our plants. I hope you give this project a try. I know it's a little more advanced for some people, but give it a try and see if it works for you. And I so strongly suggest you do get the root hormone. It will make a difference. And I plan on doing a lot of rerooting. You can reroot so many things. You go to a friend's house and maybe she has a flower that you would like to try. Go ahead and you can just snip off a piece of that and give it a try and reroot it at your own house. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Wait a second. If you like videos about my daily life and you like to see how do I do things here on the homestead, take a look at all these videos below. It's three years worth of beautiful videos that I get to share with you my life and my dreams for the future. Take care, everyone.